Welcome to the computer proctoring for the Apple language tests that your teacher has set up for you. This video will walk through all of the steps you need to take in order to have a smooth experience taking the test using the computer proctoring system. Before you begin this process, you should read through the document your teacher provided and prepare your computer for testing, following the steps listed there. This includes running a system check and taking a demo test to set up your keyboard for typing in the language at these addresses. There are also lots of practice materials and testing resources listed in that document, so please do check it out before taking your test. You'll also want to be sure that your room is set up for testing. This means that you should make sure the room you are in is quiet and private and that you are alone. Turn off any music, TVs, or other background noise. Turn on the lights so that the space is well lit. Only use one keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Sit directly in front of your webcam so that your face is centered on the screen. And close all programs and websites on your computer. For computer proctoring, you'll need to have a recent version of the Chrome browser installed and the ability to add the computer proctoring extension to it in order to monitor the test taking process. While you take your test, the computer proctoring system will record you on your webcam and the activity on your computer screen. Using AI technology, the proctoring system will detect any potential prohibited activities that occur while you're testing. If such activities are detected, your video will be flagged for review to be sure that none of the prohibited activities happened while you were taking your test. If you don't want your video to be flagged, be sure not to use electronic devices of any kind, use books or notes, or write anything down, have other people in the room with you, including walking by in the background, leave the room or step away from your computer, open other programs or websites on your computer, take notes by hand or on your computer, use more than one monitor on your computer, or talk to anyone. Once you've got all of these things accounted for and have the username your teacher provided in hand, you're ready to set yourself up for computer proctoring. The first step is to log into the testing site. To do so, open Google Chrome and use the LTI ID provided to you by your school or instructor at the website listed here. Make sure you read the welcome screen carefully. Take note of the computer proctoring requirements and prepare your testing space according to the instructions. Then click Agree. On the next screen, you can view the details of your test and the start and end date for testing. Please be sure to take all components of your test before the end date and time. Click Connect to Remote Proctor for verification in order to proceed. Enter or select your date of birth. You can type it using the format seen on screen or browse it on the calendar. Because computer proctoring is not allowed for test takers under the age of 13, you must enter your date of birth accurately. If you are younger than 13 years old, please do not proceed with testing and contact your teacher. You will now set up your profile for computer proctoring. Click Start to begin. You will next be asked to confirm your consent to the computer proctoring services policies. Review the policies, then check the box and click Submit to continue. Once you have clicked to confirm and submit, you'll be prompted to allow the computer proctoring site to use your microphone and camera. You must click Allow in order to proceed to your computer proctoring session and test. You will now be required to scan your face and upload the resulting photo to your profile. In your photo, you must be facing forwards and looking straight at the camera, have your eyes open and visible, not have hair in front of your eyes, and not have anything covering your face. Now your webcam will become active and you will see yourself on screen. Line your face up within the blue outline and click Scan in order to take a photo. If your photo is not clear or is obscured in some way, the system will require that you retake it. Once your photo meets the requirements, click Confirm and Upload. Wait momentarily while the system processes your upload. Once the profile verification screen loads, click the link to proceed to log in to your computer proctored test at the site seen on screen. Use the LTI ID provided by your teacher or school that you used earlier 
to log back into the system. On the test detail screen, click Connect to Remote Proctor and begin test. Click Go to Test. You will be asked to download the Chrome plugin. Click the Download Plugin button. A new tab will open in Chrome. Click the Add to Chrome button in order to download the plugin you need for computer proctoring. When the prompt pops up, click Add Extension. Wait a moment while the extension is added to Chrome. A new page will load briefly. Just wait until the Let's Get Started screen appears. Read the guidance on the Let's Get Started page carefully. If you don't have these guidelines, your computer proctoring video may be flagged as containing potential academic honesty violations. Once you have read through the guidelines carefully and prepared your environment accordingly, scroll to the bottom of the page, select the box to indicate that you've read and understood, and click Go to Next Step. On the next screen, check the box to confirm your consent to the privacy policies and click Submit. Repeat the process of taking a photo of yourself with your webcam. When you click Confirm and Upload, your proctoring session will load on the next screen. At this point, your webcam will become active again. You will be able to see yourself in a window in the lower right corner of your screen. Chrome will prompt you to share your screen. It is very important that you select your entire screen and then click Share. Once you share your screen, there may be a short delay while the Apple test loads in a new tab. Chrome may also block it from opening. If this occurs, click the link provided on screen to load the test. The Apple will load in a new tab. You are ready to begin taking the test. Click Play Video to watch the introductory video, and then click Next to advance to the test. Next, you will take your test. The Apple components your school or teachers have set up for you will all be available. You may work through them all in one session, or divide them up over up to four sessions. While you take the test, try not to worry about the computer proctoring system. It will be recording you and the room you're in via your webcam as well as everything on your screen. You'll know it's working because you'll see a banner at the bottom of your screen indicating that your screen is being shared, and the previous tab will show the red recording icon. Once you're done with your testing, click Sign Out to exit the Apple. Then click on the previous tab at the top of the Chrome window. You'll see your webcam image at the bottom right. Above it, click End Proctoring to stop recording and end your session. You will see a confirmation page letting you know that proctoring was successful. Each time you start a new computer proctoring test session, you will need to log in to the page provided here again and repeat steps 12 through 19. Once you have completed all the Apple modes that your teacher requested for you, you're all set. Well done. Your teacher should have your scores in about one to two weeks, once your video has been reviewed if needed. If you do have any technical issues during testing, please contact your school for advice and guidance. Please contact LTI's customer support for issues related to logging in or if there are other technical issues that you are unable to resolve. You can reach LTI's customer support team by emailing the email you see on screen. LTI's customer support team will respond by the next business day. LTI is also available for live support by phone if you call the number and extension provided on your screen during the hours that you see on your screen. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck on your test.